What's going on everyone? It's Meat Wagon back again Battlefield 3 Rush. And I call this map Base Jump. It's like um what is it? Damavan Peak. We're on Damavan Peak Offense Rush. And this is going to be an actual full game. I all I do is cut out like when I get shot and go down then I'll cut out until I respawn, but we're going to go over actual tactics in this video, all right? So pro tip number 1 most important of all is to run with a squad that's communicating. Obviously, you can see our squad here. It's Bentley, myself, Spider Bite, and Guns for Hire. This is our squad. But as well, in this game, we had um, Ippy, Holy, Man Killer, DJ Kazuma, and some some other guys that were that were you know trying to stay on our team. It would auto balance at the end of the game if some of the other players left on the other side. And we kept trying to add the people who were on our team into our Skype call. And that way we had more than just a squad communicating. We had basically two full squads communicating. And when you have that, like I said in my last video, it's you're almost unbeatable because communication will will beat, you know, even if the other team has better players, communication and double teaming and flanking routes will beat better players. All right, so that is the pro tip number one. Most important tip is to try to run with a squad and communicate with each other and get a nice little double spray after I plant the MCOM station. So this map here, um, I really, I actually really, really like this map on attack. But defending this map is I don't like it because it's really boring. Um, it for us obviously we were, we're super aggressive on defense. We push out past the targets and up onto the hill where the offensive team is obviously deploying and trying to make their way down the hill. Um, but it gets really boring because if you put up a good enough defense and, and kind of break their will early on in the game. They switch to the recon class and they start trying to snipe and I don't know why. I mean, you know, if you end the game with like a, you know, 20 and 5 or something, you got yourself a nice little fancy KD but you lost the game and you couldn't even get past the first base. That's a little ridiculous. I mean, in this, you're not you're not showing any, anybody anything by getting some super high KD score and losing the game. Sacrifice yourself, communicate with your team and move forward. Even if you lose, but you put up a damn good fight trying to plant those MCOM stations, then that's, you know, that's a good game. That's Battlefield. Look at this. Watch this. So I don't want to go around. I'm an engineer. I'll make my own doorway into this target here. That's a really good tactic is a lot of these MCOM stations are surrounded by walls that are actually, you know, obviously you can destroy them. I go ahead and use my rocket launcher, whether it be the, you know, the... SMA, whatever it is, or the RPG, um, and blow yourself a, a hole right in that wall and so you can jump through and maybe do a surprise attack on the enemy that way. They don't expect it because they're looking at a solid wall all the way around and looking to maybe cover a choke point, which is where I'm at right here. I'm covering this choke point now for them, and they're just feeding into me, getting kill after kill here. You know, what they could have done was the same thing that I did. Make themselves a couple of different pathways into this target to where they could defend it better. So it's a very good tactic to, you'll see later on in one of these other bases, uh, we're having a hard time because it's a building with like roll-up doors. And those are the only ways to get in. Obviously, the defensive team's inside, they're set up, they're aiming down sights, laying on their bellies, looking at those doorways and just mowing us down. So. Shoot, you know, shoot and blow yourself a hole in the wall. Make yourself a couple of entrances to where you can then overwhelm the defense and they, they'll have no idea where you're coming from. It's a very good, very good tactic there. So look at this. I mean, if you just look at the action, look look at look at my squad here. Yeah, obviously, my squad's all the green names. Look at us. We are pushing up as hard and as fast as we can. There we go. Spider bite, guns, and here I go. We do make one mistake here. And... I don't want to crumb on Bentley, but Bentley's like, hey, deploy your parachute early because you can steer better into exactly where you want to go. Now, he's right, but we actually, all of us, deployed way too early. And I do um, respawn back and do one more base jump for you guys. 
to show you about how to deploy the parachute just in time to where you can still steer your way around to where you want to go but you're not up here here in the air forever so you want to time your base jump correctly that right there for me was definitely a missed time base jump but it's fun man it is so much fun um if you uh if you have the chance to base jump a couple of times and it's not gonna affect your your team's victory or chances of winning definitely do it because it's pretty fun it's one of the that might be one of the reasons why i do like this map on offense is being able to take that leap of faith off there but you can see again here all the action and this is what i asked for in that other video this team was really you know they were really trying to put up a defense these guys are in here around the MCOM stations they're trying to defend their targets which made for a really exciting game for us I mean the battle the battle was on around these these targets and that's exactly what you want now for us obviously like I said when we're on defense we push out past the targets but if you can't if you're getting overwhelmed collapse back in on the targets set up a perimeter and try and protect like this particular one is what I was talking about it's inside a building We've got these doorways here, and they're just, they're focused in on these doorways, and they're mowing us down, so I go, I think all our team, our guys might have been down at the time, so I, I went ahead and deployed back up here for one more base jump, and I think this time I actually get the base jump that I want, timing-wise, you'll see here, so it'll jump off the edge, look at that view, what an awesome idea of, you know, in a game, DICE really had some, some pretty cool things that they came up with on this, but you see that? Not too late, not too early. Was able to steer where I wanted to. I could have either steered directly toward that door or landed over here because I thought, they're focused on that front door. I need to come over here and make a new entrance. There's another doorway here, but I don't want to go through that because that's obviously they're going to be focused on that. Right there, one shot opened up that wall. Huge. Big enough for a couple of guys to go through and basically it's like another door now there's a whole nother portal that they've got to watch for us to you know infiltrate this base so you know being a little bit careful because i know this area is full of enemies watch this this guy hiding in the corner there i could barely see him until he fired his gun i'm running the um i'm actually running the m4a1 silencer foregrip and holographic sight it's a nice setup, really nice setup. I've got a, a lot of other unlocks, but I really like this gun, and it was actually a lot of fun to play with the silencer. And look at that, just freaking mowing people down. But again, these guys, I mean, I gotta hand it to the defensive team. They're in here, you know, they're not afraid to put up a fight, which makes for a great game. We just, we were able to overwhelm these guys in here because we had good good team communications it's not that we were better on the trigger or you know some super elite uh players as far as gun skills go it's about team communications and that's what makes battlefield so much fun for me you know ngt the ngt team we are a big search and destroy type team and in search and destroy we always preach the same thing it's about communication it's a no respawn game type well what, that's why it's so fitting for us to play in Battlefield 3 because it's about having a squad, communicating with each other, running flanking routes, calling out enemy positions, things of that sort. And that's what makes uh, a squad and ultimately the whole team be successful in coming away with the win. So this is the last set of bases and it's inside this tunnel, right? So there's a there's the two main uh, you know like drive entrances down the tunnel. Then on each side you can see the there are those hallways. So I first first tried I've had some success, you know, as soon as it comes up sprinting down that left hallway and getting to the A target before the defense can set up. But again, these guys pushed forward, they set up in there and they picked me off. Really good defensive ploy there and it worked. Now I've, I've kind of relocated over to the right side. And you don't want to just blindly run down a narrow hallway like that. It's a long choke point to where if someone with a scope or if they're laying down and, you, and they don't, you don't see them first, you're going to get picked off every time. So you want to be a little cautious running down a hallway like that. But when you look, I'm looking forward. Guns is, Guns is up here. He's set up a mobile spawn point. He's calling out that, that we're clear up to his position, right? So I go ahead and slow down and let Spider run ahead so he can get taken out. And he'll show me where the enemy position is. It's pretty funny. 
You know, Spider is so aggressive. Spider's a really, really aggressive player. And sometimes you can uh, use that to your squad's advantage. You know, if I know that he's going to run out there, no matter what I do, why not slow down myself a little bit? If he runs out and gets through, great, perfect. If he doesn't, then I'm there to mop up the guys that picked him off. Now, right here, you can see we're all sitting in this tunnel, and it's stupid. So I said, all right, look, I'm going to go flank around the outside. These guys are obviously, again, focused on that doorway where we're funneling out. They're not expecting just one person to flank just on the outside. I'm just 15 meters outside that doorway now, but I'm able to see the whole area where these guys are, are set up and stationed here and, and you know pick a couple guys off and open up that doorway so these guys can start funneling out. Now, it's taken a little bit of time and as far as spawning goes. Some other guys have spawned in and they're pushing back toward here and I kind of get double teamed here. But it's, you know, it's an idea of when you run into resistance, find yourself another flanking route. You know, and again, communicate with your team. I let guns know, stay there as a spawn. These guys are watching the door. I'm going to flank around. If I get picked off, you're still there as a spawn. If I don't, then you can either come out the doorway once I get it cleared Whatever it is, we're, you know, we communicate that to each other, and now we've established, we've gotten out of those choke points. We are pushed out, we are right up on the MCOM stations now, now we're setting up our perimeter. We have taken control of these areas, and we've put the defense back on their heels to where they have to fight their way just to get in, you know, into the area, let alone defuse the, the plants. So, super aggressiveness, always pushing forward, you're not worrying about your deaths. You're not worrying about your kills. You're worrying about your tactics in this game. You're worried about flanking routes and setting all this up. And it makes it a ton of fun. It makes it so much fun to, to be able to do this stuff, especially with a team. I definitely recommend that you guys squad up with people and talk. Even if you're not used to talking or you're doing all the talking, your teammates aren't, don't, you know, don't get let that get you down keep communicating yourself eventually these guys are going to respond back to you or if they're they're you know on your friends that you play with a lot they're going to get used to talking a lot of people are not used to talking while they're playing they're so focused and they're they're so you know in the zone trying to look for people and you know stay alive that it's hard to do two things at once just keep after it and it will become second nature to you and success will come your way so I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, we'll see you on the next video. Thanks.